What if Wolverine, with his regeneration power, was thrown into a black hole? Would he still get spaghettified? Or would he just continually regenerate? Interesting. Ooh. That's a weird question. I like it. Here's the thing. The spaghettification, unless you're elastic man, Mm -hmm. splits you into pieces. Okay. So if Wolverine breaks into two halves and those two halves continue to separate, there is no regenerating an injury. Right, because he's not really an injury. He's still Wolverine. He's just Wolverine being like kind of streamed. Well, if if I split you at the base of your spine, that's likely the first place you'll break. And then at the base of your neck and then at your knees and your hips, then he's Wolverine in eight parts. What does it mean to regenerate that? I don't even know. Yeah, you can't. Because there's, there's a gap in between. between. Now, do the atoms actually get spaghettified? Yes. Too? Wow. This is my point. The nuclei get even spaghettified. The, wow. This is my. This is why I'm saying. So okay. So, so what happens is the tidal force of gravity. That's the stretching force. Right. Tides. That's where we get the word tides from. The tidal force of gravity becomes greater than all other forces of nature. Period. Period. Nice. So the forces of nature that hold the molecules together, that hold the atoms together, right. that hold the nuclei together, get ripped apart by the tidal forces of gravity. Oh, wow. 